Okay, on this episode of Jeff's Crazy World, what we're going to do today, I'm going to go downstairs and uh, we're going to get the, um, we're going to get the vinyl cutter set up and I'm going to clean the table off a little bit and I'll just set the camera somewhere maybe when I do that, I don't know, but uh, what I'm going to do is make a piece of vinyl for this that has these smaller holes in it so that I can, and then uh, put it on the template and then drill the template out and then what we're going to do is use the template on the drill press to drill the holes um, so that template will be kind of used over and over again um, until I get the CNC done well, it won't be used over and over again because I've already done these so anyway that's what we're going to do so let's get into it okay guys uh, I've been down here trying to clean up I got it pretty well cleaned up I got the uh, vinyl cutter uh, running and what I'm going to try to do is cut that vinyl um, for the uh, for the gantry side pieces so I can finally drill the holes in the template. Um, so let's see. Um, I don't remember where my part was on here. So let me uh, let me open up this and see if it's in recent. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it finally opened. Um, let me see if I got my recents here. I don't know if it's... Uh, let's see. Open project, save project, recent projects. Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. CNC router parts size that side plate. Okay, here we go. Now what I want to do is I want to view... Haven't used this in a while. I gotta get used to it again. So let's see. Okay, there it is. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can make those holes smaller. I normally use another sign program um let me go view zoom in okay so what i need to do is break this apart i can I need to ungroup Okay, so I want to make that smaller. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make it smaller here. Like I want to make it um, four times smaller, so maybe keep proportion so if I go if I go 1.5 1.5 okay let's see what that does okay that does it and it's going to keep it right where it was at okay so um, I need to make all of them 1.5 1.5 all right, there we go. Now, what I want to do to make sure I don't mess nothing up, zoom out, and then I want to select all again, and I want to group them because I don't want them to uh, be able to be moved or messed with. Okay, so there it is. Now, I'm going to go over here to the cutter. And I'm going to say cut with U.S. cutter. And I think uh, what I'm going to do is test the connection. Uh, well, so it's not seeing it. I think it's calm. 
or auto. Yeah, I think auto is what I do. There we go. It made a noise. I don't know why it won't save that setting either. Um, so this thing is a slow program. So anyway, while that's trying to figure out what it wants to do, let's uh, let's put the vinyl in here. So what we do is you these are already open. So we're going to take the vinyl. It's down here. I hope you can see it. If not, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I can get my let me get my camera here and I'll see where we're looking make sure you can see um, all right so I need to lower the camera just a little bit for this Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. So, what you do is, and what I'm going to do, uh, take the vinyl, and I'm going to move this one out of the way. Lay that over there. Take the vinyl, lay it on the rollers. This down there, and then we're going to bring it up through through these rollers. right here and gotta move it over some I'm too far to the edge okay there we go now what I'm gonna try to do is get it to just pull it a little straight then I'm gonna run it through um, okay there we go now we're gonna go offline. Now I'm gonna see if, what you do too, is you uh, give yourself some slack down here. So you're not pulling. You're not pulling it when you're doing this. Now what I wanna do is I'm seeing, see I'm pulling that way. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually pull it over the same way it's coming, like that. And all I'm trying to do is get it to run, get it to run straight. See, that's pretty straight. So I'm gonna do it a little bit more. All right. Now, what that does is, it's running pretty straight, straight enough for what I need. Let me pull it just a little bit more. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling it over the same way that it's coming. All right, so now, see? Now, if you look at those numbers right there, you can see that it's pulling straight. So now we hit reset. I'm just gonna bring it back where it was. Now, we're set up right now to cut. So all I have to, all I should have to do now is say cut and, uh, and let's, uh, Let's see if she cuts. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna go over to cutter. Maybe it's already open. No, close this, close this. I don't wanna mess with, uh, I'm gonna mess with that. Oh, that settings finally opened. Um, but it's not giving me an option. It's not giving me an option to say auto. So I don't understand that. So anyway, we'll cancel that. We're going to go to here. We're going to go to cut. Um, I'm going to go back up here to cutter. Oh, I'm going to tell it to cut. Now, it starts to cut immediately. It's cutting awful slow. I guess I had it set to slow because I want it to be very accurate. But that's okay. You can speed it way up. But uh, there's some little bitty bitty holes it's making for me. 
I don't know if you can see them right there. Little bitty bitty holes for my drill. Now this is basically the CNC. This is, does the same exact thing. Baby holes. See the little holes? Little bitty 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 holes. It's amazing. It's amazing how all those lines join right up. Could not do this without a computer. And we're done. So all right, so we're gonna go offline. I'm gonna run it forward until I get to the end. Right there. I'm gonna find my good spot to cut it, which would be right here. And we're gonna cut her off. There we go. Now we're gonna come over here and I'll get my camera back out. I'll see if we're if that's a good angle. That should be a pretty good angle right there <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this uh, you know I wasted a lot of vinyl right here I had enough to make a whole nother piece but I can always use that for something else actually so it's not really wasted but vinyl is not that expensive uh, so anyway this that now I'll just pull this off and compare that and then come around here. And there's the part. Now, as you can see, actually there's still a little bit of vinyl in that hole. There they are. Now, what I gotta do is uh, put that on the backing like we did over there earlier and put the uh, tape on it and then that'll uh, that'll allow me to transfer it to the template and then I'll be able to drill the template and then we'll uh, we'll have a uh, bring the template over to the Bring the template over to the um, drill press, put it on the part, and then drill it. And then be, that part will be done, ready for the uh, bearings and stuff to be put on it. So, um, what we need to do is uh, wipe it off and get the tape and put the transfer tape on it. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna trim it out again. So, trip this out. There we go. All right, now, get rid of all this stuff. Okay, there we go. Now, okay, so I got my, uh, I got my squeegee, my rapid tack. I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna go on and use this. I think it's actually simple green. Um, and I'm gonna put this back on here and hopefully it all goes well. That's the hope anyway, we'll see. Uh, let's peel this off. All right, now I'm going to spray this. 
and it's soapy, so that's good. It'll slide. Just spray that a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to put that on there. And I want it lined up exactly on the edge. So. What I'm going to have to do is peel off some of that so I can get it lined up exactly like I want it so I can see the edges. Okay, so it needs to come up some. See, now what I can also do is pull this tape off. There we go. Now, let's spray some more of it on here. Basically, I want it to float. Just like that. And line it up as good as I can. And that's all I can do. And I'm going to say that's... pretty close I'm even with the bottom edge which is what I want okay so I'm gonna go with that and that's much better I'm happier much happier and also you know when I sanded this thing down it's not exactly the same size as it was um, I made it a little smaller here and there so um, this is exactly what I want. So I'm a little smaller there. I'm good. Even with the edge. That edge is fairly even all the way around. Pretty even. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get a towel from over there. And I'm going to wipe this down. And we're going to come over to the drill press. And we're going to put a drill in it. Drill bit. And we are going to drill it. And we're going to have our holes for the template. And then we can transfer to the... Uh, transfer to the the plates the main plates so all right i hope i didn't go too fast or whatever sometimes it's hard to explain everything you're doing but i hope it's enjoyable or entertaining at least Okay, I uh, will be back once I set this up on the drill press and we will drill, we will drill our holes for our, uh, for our bearings.